You know what this thing looks like at 8 a.m.? I need a police escort to work every morning. 280 South, where all roads meet. <laughs> no, they don't. What's wrong with him? He's autistic, officer. What's that mean? Does he need to be in a hospital? Last place he should be is a hospital. What are you doing? Sean, what are you thinking? Okay, this isn't a question. I just, I don't know what you're looking for, Sean. Yes, I can feel it. It's firmer. And? I don't know what that means. There must be a clot, but there isn't a clot. The scans show no clot. the scans were taken before they harvested the liver. Prior to the liver being flushed with UW solution, it's dying. To preserve the liver, they replace all its blood with the solution to protect it from the cold storage, but they must have left some blood behind, which clotted. How long to St. Bonaventure? Less than 30 minutes. Can't wait. We have to immediately remove the clot and flush the left lobe to protect it from the ice bath. Okay, we need to stop the car. Here? Yes, yes, we need to operate right here, right now. starting at the middle hepatic vein. Less intrusive cut would be along the falciform ligament to allow access to segment three. When you locate the blockage, I'm gonna have to remove it. I need a straw to cannulate the vein, please. There's a straw in my cup. UW solution will stabilize the cell walls. Preserve the integrity of the organ. This is better than having a baby in my car. How are you feeling? Like I'm writing a blank check. You're gonna be fine. You're the best. The spleed, these Pharisees, this isn't good news. It tells us that your liver failure has progressed considerably. How much? You have two to three months. We're getting the liver today, in an hour. I don't get it. You didn't tell them. What? Your father had a drink. Oh, he had one glass. The transplant registry doesn't quantify things like that. So he doesn't get the liver? I'm gonna try and get it for him. What are you, a car salesman? What are you gonna try? The final decision is out of my hands. And if you fail? I'm gonna do everything that I can. I'm meeting with the committee in 10 minutes. Excuse me. I handed my dad the drink. Doesn't matter how it happened. He didn't want it, he just wanted to make me happy. If you let him die, I will have killed my father.
It was a glass. A glass of champagne at his daughter's graduation. I have the labs to prove it. Chuck didn't fall off the wagon. He had one drink, never went back. The transplant registry guidelines don't play in the gray for a reason. These guidelines are so arbitrary. Have one drink and you die. A couple pills of ecstasy, no problem. Hepatitis B from careless sexual practice. No, nope, nothing at all about that. So what do you want us to do, throw out the rules? I want us not to hide behind them. We do have a responsibility. Without the rules, we're playing God. We need the rules. Does that help you sleep better at night? Yes, it does. We have one liver today, and 800 people in this state need it. I don't want to be haunted by the other 799. Your guy hasn't earned it. He knew the rules, and this, it's a technicality. Well, the drink is a technicality. Jessica, what's the legal version here? Significant. If we move forward with this transplant, we could lose privileges in the registry. If it was discovered. If it were discovered, how narrow can you be about this? Dr. Glassman, where are you on this? I can make a good argument either way. Go ahead, please. Better to remove the arguments altogether. What the hell is he talking about? The hell I'm talking about is that we have a patient in this hospital who needs a liver. We also just happen to have a liver that needs a patient. It's not that simple. It is that simple if you consider the patient. Rules are secondary. But is saving this patient worth the risk of not being able to save hundreds of others? I don't have hundreds of patients right now. I have one. His name is Chuck. 